going to do a little Dutch oven cooking out at the Hatley Ranch for the trail ride. And uh, in the old days, and not too many years ago, George would have used wood, not charcoal briquettes, vine maple and a hardwood that grows in this area. He would have a stack of that. But I told him about briquettes. It's a lot easier. So you can get yourself this little fire starter. It's called a chimney. And it's got holes in the bottom. And take a little newspaper and put it under there. And then use charcoal briquettes. Get the fire going here. And rather than using that really toxic liquid uh, fire starter, I like to use these uh, blocks of fire starter. They're real soft. You just kind of crumble them in among your briquettes. And once you get the fire going from underneath, they light. Put a few more of the little fire starter in there. And then you can light your through the holes here where I put the paper. There's holes down here. We'll just start that and that'll come up underneath the briquettes and get my coal going for me. These chimney starters are real good. They work real well. So a couple of other things you might want to have when you're Dutch oven cooking, of course you need a fireproof surface. Uh, these are special made tables um, that the Hatleys have, but there's also collapsible, more portable tables like this that have legs. The legs are in here. You stick them through the holes there, and you got a table about this high. So if you're going on a camp trip, this is a really portable, great table to have. It's got a chain here, so this kind of keeps the wind from blowing your coals out. And when you're done, you put the legs back in and dump the coals out after they're cool. So that's an option. And then the really budget option is a garbage can lid. So a, a metal garbage can lid will work for putting your briquettes in and then you can set your Dutch oven right on top of that. So here's the Dutch ovens. They come in different sizes and they're numbered on top. Um, and the numbered uh, denotes what size they are and how much it will hold. Cooking in a Dutch oven is as easy as cooking in your home oven. The nice thing about cast iron and Dutch oven cooking is you want to make, say, a cake. You put coals on the top, coals on the bottom, and you can get a nice even heat, like a 350 oven. Very simple. And there's a little bit to know about, uh, depending on what you're cooking, breads and cakes, you want more heat on the top, so the top browns, and less on the bottom so they don't burn. And uh, other dishes, you have about the same amount on both bottom and top. So these are the Dutches, and um, there's all kinds of lid lifters. So if you want to check on it as you're cooking, this is one my brother-in-law machined himself. I sold a lot of these at the Appaloosa auction over the years. And uh, that way you can get a good grip, lift it up, stir it, whatever you're going to do. Put, put more food in the pot, whatever you're doing, and then set it carefully down. So we got a lid lifter, we got our Dutch oven, we got our chimney starting a fire and then the other really good thing to have is some kind of a lid uh, rest because what you don't want to do is take the lid off and set it on the ground get it full of dirt so this can sit right there it's going to be really hot after the coals have been on the top or bottom but i can take it off and on and leave the coals right on the top it's no problem now, are you going to put coals out on the table around those? I put coals underneath the rim of the Dutch and I put coals on the top. And depending on when you're cooking, depending on what you're cooking, you might put more on the top, more on the bottom, or if you're doing something that just takes even heat, like a casserole, usually it's 
about the same on the top and bottom, and you can easily get a 350 oven, for example. Uh -huh. A lot of people out when they're camping, they'll saute their onions and their meat and their bacon first in oil, and then, and then they'll add the other ingredients and adjust the coals. So when these coals are hot, and starting to turn white, so there's a little ash around them, they're ready to go. And so if these were ready, they're not yet, I would just place them around the top, depending on what I'm making. And then I would place a couple around the bottom. So it really doesn't take very long. What's that? Those coals will stay. Depends on what you're cooking. You might have to replenish and put more coals if you're doing something slow and low. You know, like a roast all day or something.